Did you know that every year there are around 1.7 million people in the United States who experience traumatic brain injury? In Canada, the situation is also concerning, as approximately 450 Canadians experience severe brain injuries every day, not including cases of concussions. But what exactly is a traumatic brain injury? According to the Mayo Clinic, a traumatic brain injury occurs as a consequence of a forceful impact or sudden movement to the head or body. A temporary impact on the brain cells can be experienced with a mild traumatic brain injury. Conversely, a more severe traumatic brain injury can lead to physical harm to the brain, such as bruising, torn tissues, and bleeding, potentially resulting in long-term complications or even death. Some of the physical symptoms of a mild TBI include headache, nausea or vomiting, fatigue or drowsiness, and problems with speech. Some of the physical symptoms of moderate to severe TBI include loss of consciousness from several minutes to hours, persistent headache or headache that worsens, repeated vomiting or nausea, convulsions or seizures, dilation of one or more pupils of the eyes, and many more. TBIs can affect many parts of the body, and these effects can often be irreversible. According to Dr. Ed Needham, a neurocritical care consultant at Edinburgh Hospital, there is an urgent clinical need to develop treatments which can prevent secondary injury that occurs after a traumatic brain injury. Importantly, those treatments have to be safe for use in critically unwell patients who are at a high risk of life-threatening infections. Thus, researchers are always looking for new therapeutics to reverse the damage. In a new paper published in Nature Immunology in just 2022, researchers created a medical intervention that limits brain inflammation. Let's dig deeper into this paper. We will first discuss the background and objectives, then the methods, and finally finish with the results. So, to give some background information, the human body possesses an innate anti-inflammatory mechanism through the presence of many cells, and one of the important ones is regulatory T cells. These cells can identify the occurrence of inflammation and release a natural blend of anti-inflammatory agents which work to reduce the inflammation. However, there is a scarcity of regulatory T cells within the brain, rendering them incapable of managing the inflammation that arises after an injury. Thus, the objective was to create a novel therapy to enhance the number of regulatory T cells within the brain so that they could effectively control inflammation and lessen the harm caused by traumatic injuries. Now, to move on to the methods, the team of researchers discovered that the limited quantity of regulatory T cells in the brain was due to a deficiency in the survival molecule called interleukin-2 or IL-2, which is necessary for the existence of T cells in the brain. IL-2 levels in the brain are lower than the rest of the body because it cannot penetrate the blood-brain barrier. As a solution, the researcher team created a new therapeutic approach that allows the brain cells to generate more IL-2, creating the ideal environment for regulatory T cells to thrive. They used an engineering adeno-associated viral vector, also known as AAV, for gene delivery, which has the ability to cross the intact blood-brain barrier and provide the brain cells with the DNA necessary for the production of more IL-2. To test the efficacy of this therapy, the researchers used a mouse model for brain injury, stroke, and multiple sclerosis and measured the effect of on cognitive performance. Mice are commonly used as model organisms in scientific research because they share many genetic, biological, and behavioral similarities with humans. Additionally, mice have a short lifespan and can be bred rapidly, making it easier to study several generations of mice in a relatively short period of time. Mice are also relatively inexpensive and easy to maintain in laboratory conditions, which makes them ideal for studying the effects of various treatments such as drugs or genetic therapies on disease and injury. The researchers found significant results. They found that the new therapy created was successful in raising the brain's level of IL-2 to that of the blood. The number of regulatory T cells in the brain was able to increase by up to 10 times more as a result of this increase. The researchers employed a mouse model that closely mimicked traumatic brain damage to evaluate the treatment's efficacy. The IL-2 gene delivery method was administered to the animals after controlled brain hits. By comparing the amount of brain tissue loss and the mice's cognitive ability, the researchers discovered that the medication was effective in lessening the brain damage brought on by the injury. The researchers also assessed the effectiveness of their approach using experimental mice models of multiple sclerosis and stroke. 
In the case of multiple sclerosis, the treatment administered during the initial symptoms prevented severe paralysis, leading to a faster recovery for the mice. In the case of stroke, administering the IL-2 gene delivery system to mice following the first stroke resulted in partial protection from secondary strokes occurring two weeks later. Overall, the effectiveness of the technique astrocyte-targeted gene delivery of interleukin-2 was proved to enhance outcomes in the event of brain injury, stroke, or multiple sclerosis. The mechanism involves amplifying the quantity of regulatory T-cells. By elevating the amount of these cells in the brain, the scientists managed to prevent brain tissue from dying in the mice after injury and also boosted their performance in cognitive assessments. As few alternatives exist to curb damaging neuroinflammation, this therapy has great potential for usage in patients with traumatic brain injury.